There we go. Cool. So today we're going to review or, or go over how we review uh, contributors translations on, on Crowdin. I mean, Crowdin is a, is a platform that we use uh, for people to contribute translations to GitLab. Uh, so if you can see the screens. Oh, mm -hmm. Let me first log out of here so you can get a sense as to how you uh, access the platform. So first of all, obviously, you log into go to crowdin.com uh, and log in. And you don't even need to create a login. You just use your GitLab ID. Uh, okay. So mm -hmm. it's pretty simple. Uh, so it should get me there. And you'll see something like this. I have a profile page set up, which you can do. Uh, and in terms of projects, just pick GitLab. Um, and, and then you'll see a list of languages that GitLab has been translated to. For some reason it's not, oh, now we go, it's showing percentages. So mm -hmm. it shows you progress of different languages, how, how they're doing, like Koreans translated 43%. And Romanian, I didn't even know until I saw this request, it's like 99%, which is amazing. It's, it's mostly that one person that did all the work. Uh, so it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, so if you want to see like a translator's activity, uh, just click on activity tab here. Uh, and you can like choose a language, uh, Romanian in this case. Uh, and then I think, yeah, and then you can like choose like different between like different users. Mm -hmm. uh, by typing their ID in, like I, I mean, I looked up his MR, uh, and his like his ID for GitLab is something different from what he has in Crowd Crowdin, which is high acid. Uh, but I mean, so you can type like high acid here as an example to choose. Uh, okay. And uh, and so the user interface isn't too obvious, but basically you'll see a lot of contributions he made. Uh, so you'll say he suggested like 231 translations on, on this one single day. Mm -hmm. uh, so you click the down button and you see, you know, various translated texts that he did. Uh, obviously some words like Twitter uh, won't be translated into like a lot of local languages, but other, others are. Uh, so, for example, if you want to see like what this one is, uh, just click on that, uh, and then you'll see the source text, which is English, like star lo uh, star toggle fail, try again later, and this is sort of how this person translated it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I mean that's basically it. So you can, I mean, obviously you don't need to go through all of his translations, uh, but just review, uh, do some, some checking of like his various translations over a period of time. Uh, it looks like he's been doing it since, January. Uh, yeah, at least January. I mean, there might be more actually. Well, like looks like it's January, but uh, over the last like five plus months, he's been making a lot of translations. So you can do a sp spot check of his, his work and, and see what you think. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so same thing here. Uh, a search for a group and then yeah. this is how we translated it so yeah and if it if it looks like mostly like you know more than reasonable uh, I would okay. just go back to the MR and and um, either on the discussion say like whether you approve or just or do or up a, up or down vote mm -hmm. uh, I mean that's that's basically it so no oh, okay uh, cool uh, any questions or no, it looks pretty straightforward. Okay, I think. let so, me. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and then let me know if you have any questions uh, while you review it. But let me just also stop the recording too, because I think we're pretty much done here.